Good morning everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the last part, we took down Brawly. Uh, pretty much we wiped the floor with him. We're a little overleveled right now, thanks to only being able to use Marsh Tom. So, first thing we have to do, we still have to deliver that letter to Steven. Um, there was too many hikers blocking here, and uh, Brawly did say that um, Steven did get sent over here earlier. But it looks like the archaeologists have been cleared out, and what are we going to be fighting? We are fighting, uh, it's a Makuhita. Nothing we're worried about, we just took one of these out anyways. I do like that they give you these guys as optional fights, really. Get, we could have taken out, reached level 19. I think we're good for now. Um, our next big issue is going to be the uh, third gym, which is electric, which means Marshchomp will have very little issues with it anyways, um, being rock, I mean, ground type. So really, the, it's a great benefit to use Mudkip, because you will basically ignore the first three, well first four gyms, because the fourth one is fire. But we're looking at this beautiful mural with this beautiful gentleman, um, and let's see what they say. Oh, once, once we get the rest of the way up. Mm-hmm. So in the ancient world, their primal forces once held this much power. The super ancient Pokemon, what terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. It seems my questions will not be answered today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, they're basically Megas, come on now. You are? Ah, I see, it's a pleasure. And it's Steven that the. What is it? The, um. Charming, or do they say Dapper Gentleman? I forget. Anyways, he's interested in rare stones. Because his last name, you know, Stone. And we give him the letter. He's gonna give us Steel Wing. Steel Wing's a nice move if you have any flying types that need a Steel type attack. I don't tend to ever really use it, except for, I think, Skarmory. Anything else, I usually find something else for it. Aerial Ace is my go to for flying. Alright, your all power is not terrible, your Pokemon are capable. And all you together? think you have what it takes to become a league champion, which is weird to hear from you, the one who at one point retired from being a league champion, but that's a few games back at this point. Um, it, it's just weird that Steven in Emerald retires and has his old teacher take up the Pokemon League champion spot. It's just not what I... Did we just run into one of the same spot that we ran into it on the way in? The same enemy? If you're level 11, I'm going to be very confused. 12. Okay, we're good. We're good. I want to test and see if this would have actually brought me to 19. Two hits should take him. I'm not liking Sand Attack. I do not like Sand Attack. But, water gun. Alright, so is it enough experience? It is. Alright. Level 19. I was hoping to be between, I think it was uh, 16 and 20 was my plans for this uh, second gym. The third gym I didn't actually plan a level 4 because we do have such a big type advantage. And we're going to have more than just uh, Marsh Tom on our team. So I figure uh, a little lower but should be doable. But now that we're done on this island, I should heal. Um, actually, yeah, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center. Heal up before we move on. Uh, we have finished in Dewford Town though. It's a bit sad that they are just quick stops on our travels, like uh, Respiro. We didn't need to do anything in Respiro except for, I guess, get the um, HM. We basically ran in, fought the gym, uh, picked up the HM. If you need it, you pick up False Light. Um, but there's nothing in the town that keeps you there. And the same with Duford. Slateport does have something that keeps you there. Um, at least Little Roots, your hometown. Old Dale doesn't have anything. Um, what is it? Petalburg has your father. Um, Respiro, I guess, is the first gym town, but it's still not that gym. I'm actually not going to be wanting to fight anyone on this beach because we're going to get our next person soon, and we're already over leveled enough on Marshall. So we're just skipping the beach entirely. We have to find Captain Stern in Sleepport City, even uh, if you'd forgotten Briny does warn you. Oh? 
and we've got some Team Aqua guys waiting in line. I'll join them. Don't you put in? Okay. Kick us out of line. Let's go take a look. I think. Yes, yeah, Stern's shipyard. So we're gonna head to this shipyard and see the guy in charge. This should be Captain Stern. At least it would make sense. He seems to be leading the, the shipyard. Oh, oh, it's Donk. Captain Stern commissions draw layouts for a ferry. Stern is in the museum where we just saw all of the Team Aquagrads going to. Yeah, a little bit of foreshadowing if you didn't know where the building was. And I'm certain one of them mentions Stern's shipyard, but in any case, we can go in here. And we do have to spend 50 okay to enter. It's a bit expensive, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I think this guy's the important one. We talk to this first one. He gives us Thief. Thief is a nice TM. Not really going to be used here, but it does help. In the future, there is um, Pokemon that can spawn with lucky eggs and that sort of thing, based on what your decks have. And so it's very helpful for that. But we'll talk to this gentleman in a green hat. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. These are the parts he ordered from Mr. Stone. But Team Aqua followed us up here, and has come to steal those parts from us. So, let's take them out. Uh, I believe the first guy has two Pokemon that we have to fight. Uh, so, oh, no, he only has one. Interesting, just the one Carvana. Carvana's a nice one, uh, what is it, Water Dark type? So our Water Vent's not going to be doing too much damage. Um, however, I guess Rock Tome might? I don't know. I was on the fence whether or not to add it in the first place, and I don't know, it's been nice so far. But, I mean, we still do have, yeah, we've got a three level benefit on this. I just don't want to use any um, physical moves, so I wasn't going to use uh, Tackle in this situation, because I don't want to get hit by the rough skin. But there, we took him out, got 640, so more than made up for the fee that it cost to get in here. What is disaster? The boss is going to be furious. The 27th strongest member of Team Aqua will take care of the kid. 27th. Does this... I guess there's the one we did fight, because we know it's the same one that we fought in the woods and in Rustford Okay. So is there 28 members of Team Aqua? Um, like, I'm not sure what they... Or is there just a bunch of members that we never really fight? We're going to rock tomb again. I was on the fence adding this. Um, coming up across the Zubat, I'm glad I did, because it's going to be a good counter to anything flying, and um, Archtomp didn't really have that as a water ground yet. I mean, he will get an ice move at some point, and that's perfect for what he's doing. But yeah, both these guys are actually weaker than that other Grunt, that's why I think there's 28 total. Because that other Grunt was stronger than him with the level 16. Not much, but stronger. Both these grunts are down now. And, well, looks like they're getting some assistance. I love the redesign for this guy. I mean, that anchor, he looks so much more intimidating than I saw Ar uh, yeah, Archie before. So, he is a fierce pirate who is very protective of the sea. We'll get into more information about him later, because we see him a lot in this one. Being Alpha Sapphire, uh, he becomes the main villain. Alright, the sea we have blighted nature itself. I will return everything to its unspoiled beginnings. So he is going to improve the oceans and waters. And he left, so we no longer need to worry about him stealing the parts. We will drop these off to Captain Stern, and get back to it. Time to set up for the Ocean Floor Expedition. That's important for later, um, it's going to take them a bit to build the um, submarine for the Ocean Floor Expedition. So. I wanted to go through this gap. I wonder if there is a way to get back your 50 that you spend in there, but I mean you fight two um, aqua grunts, and that was really it for this town. 
we meet Simaka. There's no gym. There's a bit of a market, but that's more something you mess with later. Um, yeah, there's a fan club. Uh, and there's even a contest hall. Contests are usually something I do avoid in Pokemon. However, um, we, we should give it a shot this time. Yeah, so you need a contest pass. And that's something we're going to get a little bit later in the game. But it is going to be helpful because it is going to be where we get our next team member. So we'll just head out it. Honestly, I took this route because I wanted to see what would happen because I knew this cutscene's right after. Um, we see the contest champ. Yeah, none of those people were there two seconds ago. I guess she just walked out of a contest. All right. Uh, me and my Altaria, Allie, so the Altaria's name is Allie, uh, are getting ready for contests. She spins and spins like multiple people in the audience. I've never really paid much attention to this cutscene. Um, she is just going to be picking someone to bring into contesting. Spoiler alert, it's us. Which is good, because I wanted to get a contest done, and I guess we'll be ending this episode doing this contest. Because, honestly, getting to Steven didn't take too long. Fighting the two grunts didn't take very long. And we didn't get caught by anyone on the beach. Yeah. So, we needed the contest pass, we just saw that. And the Pokeblock kit will help if you're really serious in doing this. I'm going to be doing one not too seriously just because I want uh, to get Pikachu. I haven't actually done a contest in Gen 6, so I'm wondering just how badly I'm going to do in this one with Marsh Tom, who isn't suited for really any of them. We're going to pick the best one for us, but I don't know. Let's take a look. So you can check on your Pokemon, go to Summary, and to the second page, uh, you can see that we have a Tough, Clever, Cute, and Tough, which means, of course, we have to take a Tough Contest, because uh, that'll give us the best chance anyways. I mean, you could do it with the other uh, contests, just because you can't double move. Oh. Oh. And you can scan Altaria. Ali, Ali. And I honestly don't know if she just waits there till you come in. Because I did nothing with this for any of the times I've played through this one. Because I know the story of uh, Hoenn so much. Looks like she's going to bring us to the stage. I know the story of Hoenn very well. I spent so much time in Emerald and Sapphire. That I don't know. I just I haven't worked into this, so I've never seen it because I didn't worry about the contest. There, side thing. I mean, there is something benefits you can get, um, such as there are some ribbons you can add. That's a pretty cool outfit, but I mean, you don't have to wear it regularly, so is it really worth it? Because I mean. If I got to wear that the entire time I was playing, that would be pretty awesome. Alright, so she's given us a costume, we are pretty much all set. It's just a matter of, let's get started. Alright, so there's a... Uh, basically a display, a show-off one, and a, um, what's it called? A show-off one, and a uh, participation round. We want to go with a toughness contest. Normal rank, we don't have a chance. We're entry number four. And then we just, you know, get changed right in front of this, um, what is it? receptionist and it's it's weird because you do that in all the Pokemon games now uh, in Sun and Moon you just get changed wherever you are to get into the um, uh, 
ride Pokemon here. So, ooh, look at Ronnie. The Aeron. Alright, alright. Jordan and Sidati. Sidati? A nice Sidot. Alright, Pokemon we have seen before. Alright, continuing on. What's the third one? Our competition. Maku Waku. I get the feeling it's Maku Hida. I was gonna say, he looks like he's hitting us pretty hard right there with that. Uh, but, I mean, we look pretty cool, so I think that's gonna be points in our favor. But definitely Makuhita got the most points this round. Uh, with that special entrance and everything like that, I can't see any reason it wouldn't. Talent round start! Alright. Yeah, they're both just quite appealing moves. Well, we'll mud shot. Makuhita, because it went first, with focus and energy. Doesn't get him much, but it probably, yeah, next turn is going to give him more. Headbutt. Oh, it's it's a similar move to ours. It's a, it's a strong one and gives us a toughness bonus. Interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting the toughness bonus on ours as well. Synthesis? Is that a tough move? I was gonna say, that doesn't sound like a tough move. And we'll mud shot. At least it's a tough move. Now those stars, I believe when you get five stars, it's going to um, speed things along. Like, it's gonna give you a huge bonus on a turn. But, I mean, we're second now. We just, we don't want to use, um, Mud shot again. Metal Claw. Another strong move. Good showing, good showing. But it wasn't tough. Which means we're going to get the most points here. A fifth one. That being said, I don't know if Makuhita is actually going to get one more point than us thanks to his combo. But, I mean, I still don't know. Smelling Salts. Is that good for your combo? It failed to outdo the next Pokemon. So right now, we're in a really good situation. Uh, as long as Seedot doesn't use a tough move, I don't think Leech Seed is going to be considered a tough move. Um, yeah. It means we can still shift forward. We'll be first this turn. And this is why I wanted to pick a tough contest. is because um, as a tough contest, we have two moves, so we can spam both of them. We have now maxed out the toughness gauge. Oh, completely taken with our toughness. Interesting, these are definitely more uh, impressive looking um, things. And I just got, I have 10 stars now, so that's a huge benefit. Uh, we've lost a lot of points in the first round, but, I mean, outside of that, yeah, I don't think he's going to have a chance. I wish there was a way to speed these up. Oh, and just hitting R will take a picture. I don't want to see this picture. I was seeing if that was going to speed it. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. I, th I think Zeno's just going to be spamming all his moves. We're still going to be holding first for this round as well. Uh, we just used Mud Shot, so let's use Tackle again. Honestly speaking, I would say I think we've won this contest. Uh, even if we're out past here, as long as, I don't know, two other people use a tough move. Looks like Makuhita's on his tough turn itself. Um, oh. But yeah, he's never going to outdo us. So that's always a benefit here. Leech seed. Nothing. I I don't think yeah. Leech seed's not tough. Aaron, I'm, I'm really hoping you get this tough move. That looks like a tough move. Are we gonna get another uh, ten ten heart turn? It's not a tough move. 
It's the last move. The only one we have with a special one is Rock Tomb. It's going to expect little of other contestants. So I'm going to actually use Rock Tomb right there. Because if it's going to make them expect less of it, I'll take the two minus hearts. Oh, I was I'll take the two minus hearts to give it a shot. But I don't think it's, it changed enough. That's your tough move. Your tough move is just to not do anything. And Sita, I think we established, doesn't have a tough move. So we're not really worried about it getting a 10 heart boost there. Yeah, it didn't show off its appeal very well. Oh well, five rounds, we managed to get one boost out of it. Pretty good for a normal rank contest, even though I've never done one. But the results, we finished all rounds. Let's see. We got first. With zero points in the first section, we managed to still go first in this. It was a normal contest. I know the master contests uh, are very different. So, congratulations. Now you can enter from one in super rank. Very helpful, at least. And the green room right over there. This is where I believe we're going to be getting our Pikachu. I don't actually think it's possible for us to have really lost it there. As long as you kept using tough moves, you were getting the boost. Good feeling about us, but that wasn't Pikachu. You're supposed to be able to get a Pikachu after your first contest. But once again, this is my real first contest. Oh. Got a minute? I do. Alright, we've got Cosplay Pikachu. And that will be our second Pokemon. This Pokemon Pikachu, the biggest issue uh, is that it's not going to evolve. Alright, I'm going to go by the dressing room right now because there is a specific Pikachu I want to have. So, you can talk to this girl and she will give you option to switch between cool, beautiful, cute, clever, and tough. I'm gonna go with beautiful because I think that one should be Belle. It is. Alright. We forget Meteor Mash because we were in the uh, cool one, I believe, which gave us Meteor Mash, a steel type move, and we instead gain an ice type move. Icicle Crash, right? So, we want this Icicle Crash because one thing our um, Marsh Tom can't handle right now is grass types. And Icicle Crash will deal with that. Uh, we no longer need to worry about Rock Tomb, thanks to Pikachu. Pikachu will handle pretty much anything flying we come across. But that is going to be where we're calling it for this episode. With our Pikachu and Marsh Tom both the same level, so it's perfect where it came in. Uh, we're going to go clear the beach down below us, and then we're going to get ready to proceed forward. Uh, it'll probably be clear the beach and get up to... Um, maybe halfway through the next group for the next episode, so it won't be the most interesting thing, but it'll be a great chance to show off our Pikachu in battle. See you guys then!